Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! You're insane! That explosion was massive! You say that like it's a bad thing. Pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. 
<laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right. Back to the junk mines. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, O oh, almighty glowy bear. Okay, what do I... Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. It's like my own private gallery. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE, though. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe, you're terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just, I like hanging out with normal people. Like, you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean, I, I hate fake people. You're real. Thanks. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. I can never tell if Chloe is my best friend because she makes me do crazy things or despite it. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. <sighs> Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old t Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll.
Okay. What do I see around here that belongs in the trash box? We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> what are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. I can't believe Chloe wants to part with this. Seems so unlike her. Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. <laughs> no freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and... Tell her later.
Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... I... Don't know how Holy to... shit! Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> 